Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Budget and Savings with V. I'm Vonda Sharon, and on today's episode of Budget and Savings with V, how to save money as a college graduate. You just graduated from college and you are trying to wrap your head around all of these responsibilities and no one prepared you for them. I know, I felt the exact same way 20 years ago. And sometimes I still feel overwhelmed because I had to teach myself. So now you make sure you stay tuned in, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and your good auntie will teach you everything that you need to know to be successful. You ready? Number one, create a budget. You have now graduated from college. Congratulations. Auntie is so proud of you. You're gonna have to create a budget because if you are just starting out, you may you know, be making a lot of money and you may have to climb the corporate ladder. I know, but whatever money you have, whether it's a thousand dollars or whether it's a million dollars, you have to have a budget. You know, my income has um, fluctuated a lot and some of the larger dollars that I have made, I really thought that I could not spend them all let me tell you auntie responded in two or three months and i'm like how did you spend that much money so i definitely make sure that i practice what i preach i definitely have dip, uh seven different accounts so one is for bills and only i add up all the bills put that money in that account i do not use that debit card at all it doesn't even go in my wallet so that is what i do i recommend that you make a bill i recommend that you write down how much you want to keep your light bill at your electricity bill your grocery bill groceries for the house and eating out because you're going to eat out with your friends um how much you have for your wants because you're going to want something every time you get paid uh, give yourself a good guesstimate of how much you're going to spend driving, you know, commuting back and forth to work. All of those things play a factor, okay? And that'll let you know whether or not you need to get a side hustle or sell some stuff, you know, or tutor some people. All of that will let you know because you don't want to assume that you have enough money and then you run short and then you're in the negative. Be proactive. You are a college graduate now, you are very smart, and you can do this, okay? I'm so proud of you. Establish some goals. Do you want to take a vacation once a year? You know, because you've been struggling in college all this time, and you're like, you know what? I'm tired of struggling. I am going on vacation. Let me be honest with you. Best time to go on vacation, in my opinion, is in December. Well, between November and January, because if you go to a tropical island, such as like Cancun, Jamaica, Bahamas, Mexico, not not the regular Mexico, but Progreso, Mexico, it's a um, tropical island. It never changes seasons. So plus, it's a lot cheaper too. But hey, establish some goals. Set up a checking and savings account. Hopefully you did this while you were still in college and you can um, still use your free checking account. But I do know sometimes, sometimes banks catch on that you are not a student anymore and they will switch your account over. So you might want to save yourself some headache, you know, because you're thinking everything is free and then you get hit with a service fee. And I don't want that to throw you in the negative. So, don't cut it close. Just go ahead and say, hey, I want to close out my kitty account. I've graduated from college now. I want to set up direct deposit. What free accounts do you have? Make sure you ask all the fees. Like, you know, is it a monthly service fee? Is it a monthly uh, balance fee? Um, all of that you want to ask. Okay? I don't want any surprises. Automate your savings. Don't you think that you have enough willpower 
or any of that to um to just put the money over no just go ahead and automate it that way you don't have to worry about that because it gets very difficult sometimes when you have more bills than money and then to automate your savings but you're a college graduate now i know you're not going to overextend yourself okay don't you do that lifestyle in, you know in flux because your friends got new luxury vehicles and you think you got to too but that's a whole nother subject for a whole nother day get a credit card with restrictions and limits you know well you don't really need any limits you just have to put some limits on yourself typically credit cards go in increments so most of the time they start you out at 500 and then they see that you're responsible so then they boost it up to you know 700 750 if they're not going fast enough for you you can request a limit increase every 90 days to uh, 60 um, to every six months. Take it slow, Jackrabbit, Grasshopper. You got the rest of your life. You really don't want to get yourself in over your head, okay? Um, set aside an emergency fund. Let me tell you, you are going to have emergencies. That car is going to break down. You're gonna need a new battery. You're gonna need some new tires because you got a flat and the battery is not gonna start. So set aside some money, look up in advance how much one tire costs or a set of four tires costs. You know, you may wanna look at discount tire because they have a, a warranty on them. Um, you may wanna look up under the hood and see how much your battery costs. I was sticker shocked how much a battery costs. So I definitely will uh, be putting that amount of money in um, my emergency fund, but I did go to Walmart, so they do have a warranty, but I just still wanna be safe, okay? Because it's not a good feeling when you go outside and it's hot and your vehicle doesn't start, okay? It's, it's not. So definitely take advantage, not take advantage, but make sure you know and then also put your oil change money in there as well in your emergency fund. Or you could just put, you know, a car fund in an emergency, you know, it's like if like a flood or something comes, anything you deem an emergency, okay? Because I'm not going to tell you what <clears throat> an emergency is. Shop discount stores because there's lots of people on TikTok that shop discount stores and they look amazing. So, you know, you're still just starting out. You're still trying to furnish your place. You're still trying to get a hold to, you know, your credit card bill and the student loans because they are like, hey, it's me. I'm here to get your paycheck. <laughs> no, but seriously, you know, you're still trying to get a hold on everything. Everything does not have to be picture perfect. Give yourself some grace. Give yourself some time to get everything figured out and get adjusted to being an adult and paying real bills. <sighs> Last but not least, avoid impulse buying. That one is really difficult. But like I said, you know, once you create a budget, you can see what you have left and do you have enough left to make this happen. I really recommend that you give yourself uh, 24 hours. Okay. Um, also, you can calculate how many hours you could take your hourly rate times uh, how many hours it would take to purchase that. And if it's more than 40 hours, which is five days worth of work, is it really worth it? Ask yourself that. Do I want to work a whole week? for this item that's a tough one go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys